Hey everybody, welcome once again. Uh, sorry, there were some technical issues because of which we had to restart the entire uh, event. But we are very excited. We have Patrick, Sarika, Dipanshu Theodora and Nikki on the Zoom call with me. And uh, without uh, further ado, I am just going to start the quiz. We just did a, a spin the wheel and the name generator gave us the order as Nikki, Theodora, Dipanshu and Patrick. And that's the order what we are going to follow today. Uh, quickly, uh, we're talking about the details of the quiz. Uh, the, as you see, we have four part participants, 20 questions comprising of the general trivia and the Atlassian ecosystem. Uh, each participant will get 90 seconds to answer a question. Each question will be for 10 points. Important thing, if you give a wrong answer, the next participant will get a chance to answer the question again. Uh, and if they do, they'll get 10 points. Otherwise, all four if all four of you do not give a right answer, I'll give a hint or Sarika will give a hint and the question will become for five points. There is no negative marking. So feel free to, uh, you know, take a guess. Uh, also, most importantly, if you answer out of turn, you will not get the point. And the person whose designated question it is can still hear the answer and say the same answer again and, uh, you know, get the points. So make sure that you are, uh, you know, waiting for your turn to answer the quiz and on the basis of that only, you know, moving forward with it. All right. And uh, feel free to answer uh, whenever it's my turn. Yeah, please. My yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the perfect answer. It, it happened in a previous yeah. as well. Somebody gave the answer which was when it was not their turn and uh, yeah, the other person benefited from it. But yeah, I think that's that's just uh, how we're going to do this. Any any questions before we begin? Nope. Don't judge me, All everybody. Yeah. Nobody, <laughs> please don't. Nobody will judge anybody for something that we can definitely take forward with. Uh, with that, let me ask the first question to Nikki. Nikki, this is your question. Credited with inventing the difference engine, the first mechanical computer. This person is also called the father of computers. It eventually led to more complex electronic designs like the analytical engine, in which we find all the essential ideas of modern computers, which use the principle openly borrowed from a person named Jacquard Loom. Who are we talking about? Turing? Not Turing. So I'll go on to the next person, Theodora. Oh. Well, I know the father of computers is called for John Atanasu, but the, the person on the picture is not very familiar to me, so I'll go with that name. And I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, can you say the name again? Yeah, it's John Atanasu. Not, not John. Uh, moving on, Dipanchu. Charles Bebich. That is right. The answer is Charles oh. Babbage. He was called the father of computer. Perfect answer, Dipanchu. 10 points, wow. Dipanchu. Wow. Great crack. I think everybody in India at least read this in their education books when people were growing up. That's why it's got stuck. So I remember it like. Exactly. Well done. Charles Babbage, father of computer. Charles Babbage, father of computer. <laughs> Perfect. Great. 10 points to Dipanchu. We move on to the next question to Patrick. Oh, Patrick gosh. Dash 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 is a certified platinum fourth album by a French electronic duo called Daft Punk. Released on 17 May 2013, the album pays tribute to 70s and 80s American music, particularly from LA. This was also the duo's final album before the split up. Now, this is a clue. What is the name of the album which shares the name with a device typically used to store working data and machine code and allows items to be read and written in almost the same amount of time, irrespective of the physical location. That name is also the name of this album. Hint. So that's that's the hint. No, no, you said I can go from 10 points to five points if I ask for yes, an immediate so For hint. that, it will have to like complete the full cycle. So Nikki, Theodore, and you mean you may have to, to we, we can sit in silence for 90 seconds, you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> so all, all four of you, I'm pretty sure somebody will get it. If all four of oh, you. Oh, I'm sure. Then you'll get the hint. Uh, 
What do I say, Sajit? To uh, it's not my turn anymore, right? I've I've. It is. It is your turn. If you want to pass it, you can, or you can take. I'm, pa I'm, pa I'm passing. I'm passing. Okay, you're passing. You're passing. We go to Nikki. Yeah. I don't listen to music. I need to confess. So I need to pass. <laughs> Again, so even if you don't know the first section, read the second paragraph carefully. You might get the answer. You definitely should get the answer. I need to pass. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Theodora. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> All right, moving to Dipanchu. Ram, a uh, random access memory. That's right. The correct answer is random access <laughs> memory. That was the last album as Daft Punk as a duo, and of course. That is the device which used to store working data and machine code and allows items to be read or written in same amount of time. The Panchu with a strong lead of 20. Uh -oh. I, I I actually didn't know that this was the album, but I just guessed it from the that uh, what was the name of this album, the hint. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So since the Panchu gave the answer, Patrick, you get the next question once again. Oh, oh, great. Yeah. Uh, this is your question. The logo for this. is an anglicized version of a scandinavian word created in 1997 by jim carter it was an epithet of a king harald dash who united the danish tribes into a single kingdom it's from a book about historical vikings the creators chose the name to imply that unites communication protocols it has 35000 member companies in areas of telecommunication computing networking and consumer electronics what are we talking about to think communication telecomputing networking uh, i uh, yeah i mean thinking mm, shoot nokia not uh, nokia yeah i was going to say except i'm thinking of the king harold who invaded england in 1066 right was that Her so harold is defeated not nokia but, is not but that, i know it's not the same one i know um <laughs> but nokia is is no And there's no. There you go. It's over, right? My turn is yes, over. It is. Yes. <laughs> so we move on to Nikki. I just realized I hadn't renamed my. But yeah, Nikki, your turn. I would recommend guys read the question carefully. You would definitely know the answer. It's just twisted yeah. in a way. I was. I was just thinking. There wasn't. There's not a picture of logo, right? The, like. Something. No, no. So the logo is obviously okay, not there. The <laughs> I was, picture of. I was just team. checking. king herald dash the dash is the name of what we are looking for as well think telecommunication think technology and a logo which looks like a viking logo uh itoro not itoro okay. theodora <laughs> you want to take a guess I'm trying. I'm sure that we all know this. Yes, I'm hundred percent sure. All of you know this. I'll pass it to the winner. My confidence level is like a negative. <laughs> the punch. I will also pass it. We need hint now. All right, perfect. So I'll give a hint. <laughs> And again, the question goes to Patrick. So Patrick, think as I was saying. Focus on communication. it's a yes. technology that i'm looking for it's a wireless technology and that's the hint that i'm giving that's the hint that was already built into the question no where is it written wireless technology think of a wireless technology member... for communication protocols for protocols yes wireless technology how many wireless technologies can you think of viking logo Looks like a Viking logo. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, Using telecommunication, language. computing, network, consumer electronics, a technology. I'm looking for a technology. Yeah, I know. So I, I'm trying to jump between hardware and non-hardware. My head here. I yeah I and then the fact that it's the king King Harold's last name his surname right 
it's not technically surname that was the name that he was also known for he was a danish king for sure oh oh can i can i oh this this is this so this is going to be it would be a spectacular win or a crash and burn i'm going to say bluetooth that is the right answer all right his name was herald bluetooth he had a dead tooth that's why he was called bluetooth oh. and this is the nordic h and the nordic b which combines to form the bluetooth logo Oh, even a blind squirrel finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. With that, yeah. Patrick, Patrick gets mm. five points. Sarika. Yes, I have added it. Awesome. Great guess. Great crack, Patrick. Moving on to the next question to Nikki. Nikki, this is your question. Dash was a line of portable media players for Microsoft, basically. While some features were play- praised, but it was a... you know regarded as a derision for jokes for his bulky size as brown color it was also oh. called the high profile underdog alternative to apple's ipod in june 2012 microsoft pl- announced the plan to discontinue all these products in the product i am i have the image why do the i line. get all the music questions <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I prefer to <coughs> technology questions all of these are yeah if you yeah. Yeah, if you know sajit that's just going to happen uh, hold on so it was like a i put about from microsoft exactly It literally was an iPod, but from Microsoft. Obviously, it didn't work out. Otherwise, we all would know the name, Crash and Burn. Yeah, I think I will pass. <laughs> I don't know. We'll pass it on to Theodora. I never seen this. Honestly, it looks like a, <laughs> you know, the old school Winamp, <laughs> but in in physical shape. Oh, I'm following Nikki straight to the line. <laughs> Are you are you passing on as well? Uh, I'm I'm passing, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll pass it on to Dipanchu. Microsoft Zoom. That's right. Zoom was the name of the portable device. Wow. Which was never heard of this. And burned basically, <laughs> and it it actually existed for a long while, even when the device was shut down, because they used the Zoom platform to provide music to all the Xboxes, and if you played Xboxes in the late. you know 2012 13 14 the music section was called zoom music and then they completely yeah, shut it exactly. off and now it's called xbox music all right so with that uh, dipanchu gets 30 points i think 10 points for this question uh, as well and uh, with that i think we're done with the first round of the general trivia question so we move on to you sarika for the first round of the atlassian quiz questions let me go to the first question here it is yeah. so um round 1 of ecosystem question will be all about uh, how you know atlassian and uh, atlassian history so we'll move on question 1 and, uh, and the question 1 is, is to patrick Nikhil. because uh, dipanchu gave the answer so we'll start with patrick uh, oh okay, okay okay sure so question uh, so this question will be for patrick so Atlassian Foundation was created with the vision of helping make the world better. As the company, they contributed one percent of annual profit and one percent of employee time and one percent of company equity to the foundation. In which year Atlassian Foundation was created? Ooh. Hmm. Fifteen. Correct. Not. Not fifteen. Not fifteen. <laughs> Sounds like partial points for me. <laughs> no, <Nope>, not fifteen. <laughs> I'm so sorry, so sorry. It's my mistake. <laughs> not fifteen. We move on to Nikki. Is it at least close? So I know. Two thousand thirteen. Not thirty. Yadura. No. Let's try with two thousand eleven. Not eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Dipanchu, I will also be guessing this. 2016. Not 2016. So <laughs> yeah, I I actually don't know. So all of you are a lot like in the future. It was a little earlier, I would say. 
So it's back to me. Yeah. So quite early. <laughs> so we'll do a quick round again, and uh, maybe h- how do you want to know the hint? Like, do you well, the I think year, we, like, the hints have been given by the film from that era, the the year. Sure. I mean, sure. I'll take that. I mean, All right. I so have I'll the advantage the, of going one, first. I guess. Maybe three most popular movies of no, that I can year. take one. I'll I, give you all three. I, That's fine because everybody will get the same hint. Yeah, I know, but I get to go first, so I feel yes, this is you unfair. You still get to go first. I'll give you three names, and that's the hint for all. Okay. These are the highest right. grossing movies of that year. Uh, okay. Those are The Dark Knight, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and Kung Fu Panda. These three movies came out in the same year. I could have sworn. I think 2012 was already mentioned as an answer, but I could have sworn that that's when that movie came out. 2012. Not 2012. Was that already answered? Was that already answered? No, it wasn't. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Not 2012. Uh, Nikki. So I go like earlier. Okay, 2005. Not 2005. <laughs> Theodora. I'll try with 2009. <laughs> Not 2009. Final answer, Dipanchu. 2008. That's right. Oh no, it's not. No. Oh, oh. I have no idea. It's 2006. I thought it's 2008. It's 2006. But Dark Knight was released in 2008. Yeah, did, yeah. Dark, Dark Knight was much later. I take yeah. that question back. I take that question back. This is the problem with using a separate laptop where I do not get to see the answers myself because I'm in a different application and we we just cancel this question. Sorry guys. Because I I have seen each and every Batman movie, <laughs> so at least yeah. I was yeah. sure on yeah. that. You yeah. you are right. You are right, buddy. It it actually is a problem at uh, the quiz masters and we were not ready for the problem. And yeah, let's just drop this question. Nobody. Nobody knows about this question, okay? <laughs> We just need this one one more round to cover the entire history of Atlassian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, the answer is 2006. I gave the wrong hint. You are right, Dipanchu, on that. The answer is 2008 from the hint that I gave, but the hint was wrong itself. So we just ignore that point and <laughs> move forward. Wait, was that the Dark Knight or Batman Begins that was 2008? Because I could have sworn Dark, Dark Knight. Knight. Dark Knight was 2008. Wow. So in 2012, it was the second part rises. Time flies. Time flies. Mm. Yeah. All right. Wow. So let me let me ask the uh, uh, let's let's ask the next question, uh, Sarika. I think it, yeah, we'll sure. go. So next question will go to Nikki, right? right? No, no, it will start with Nikki, right? So we asked this question to Patrick, right? We started with Patrick, and since nobody gave the answer, we start again with Patrick. Okay. Sure. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Yes, so uh, Nasdaq is an American stock exchange based in New York City. In bit, in what year and by what symbol was Atlassian listed on Nasdaq? Mm-hmm. So, Let's team. Um, oh, what year? Um, so we'll give part point for both the answers. Yes. Um, uh, I'm gonna say 2000. Thirteen. No, it's not two thousand thirteen. Your uh, symbol is correct, so five points to you. Uh, we'll move on to Nikki. Nikki, do you want to guess the year? Two thousand twelve. No. Uh, so, Theodora. Well, two thousand fifteen. Yes, it's two thousand fifteen. Ooh, that's right. That's, that's a pure luck. <laughs> so, and with, five with points that, to Patrick. With that, ten points to Theodora, right? I think only five. No, we didn't give. Oh, five. You're right because Patrick. Oh, gave, point I'm going to give. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, you should give it. She she would have gotten the t- the team right too. Uh, yeah. Happily. There are there are a couple five. more questions in which you get part points, but that's fine. So five points. Okay. Five points to Patrick. Five to Theodora. Mm-hmm. I'm just configuring. Give me a minute. 
all right while uh, sarika you do that do you want me to jump to the next question yes all right so here is your question dipanchu so in 2013 atlassian 24 hours hackathon called ship it gave birth to something which was later added to atlassian suits of tool what are we talking about dipanchu you are on mute yep just reading the question once is it bit bucket no not bit bucket all right Patrick. uh fish eye sorry there's i as fish eye not fish eye okay nikki my first guess was bit bucket okay um i think that big bit bucket was 2012 but i'm not sure um uh what else do they have um so the the key here is that <laughs> it was born with ship it if you know ship it ship it is that 24 hour yeah, yeah yeah i know ship it but i i'm ship not sure it created um, this in 2013 yeah 2013 was good well confluence was already a thing jira was already a thing service desk was already a thing um there was a hip chat uh but that probably no um you're laughing okay hip chat <laughs> let's go hip chat <laughs> No, not him. Theodora. No, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this is something that they bought, but I'll try with Crucible. Not Crucible. Wow. It's interesting that you guys didn't get it. But uh, so, what's the hint that you want to give, Zarika? Uh, <laughs> I think you are a good person to give this. Okay, hint. <laughs> so the hint could be uh, there was a major revamp which happened on that tool since then, and uh, now it's called by something else. I think that's I think that's that's the hint I can give. Otherwise, it's too obvious. Oh. So uh yeah so we oh. can start again from Devanchu. Mm. Devanchu's first, right? Yeah. Although I will just be kind of guessing it but is it Jira service management? Not Jira service management. Mm. Uh, uh Okay, I I so, um I don't know why the word grasshopper is in top of my head. I don't even know what that means. I can't even remember. I um I, I don't know why that's I'm going to say that's my answer, but I know it's entirely inappropriate and wrong and or is a weird amalgamation of the right word. Yeah, I I'm just saying something hopper. Why am I saying why is hopper in my head? Yeah. But no. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> don't stress yourself so much. You are thinking You're about sure. green hopper. Green Hopper, thank you. Before what Jira's name was, I believe. But that's not the answer, so we move on. To okay. <laughs> thank you for shooting me out of my misery. Do we want like a name of the tool now, or how it no, was? No, the original was... name. No, I'm looking for the original. Original name. name. Oh gosh! But they give such a such a code names. <laughs> you know. No, so it okay. was the popular name until okay. the name was Jira changed. Service Desk. That's right. Yeah. Jira Service Manager is a new name, Dipanchu. We are looking for Jira Service Desk Rats when in 2013, and yeah, yeah. next Mike Ross and Scott spent 24 hours hacking together a simple code, uh, and which was called Jira Service Desk in 2013. So five points to Nikki for that. Yes, I have added it. Perfect. So with that, Theodora, this is your question. So Bitbucket was previously an independent startup company uh, founded by Jasper Nor. In which year was Bitbucket acquired by Atlassian? After which it joined Atlassian Suits of Atlassian Suits of India. So you have to guess the year. Uh, 
in which year bitbucket join at lash and tuesday oh that was probably early let's go with 2005 not 2005 So we move on dipanchu 2010 no 9 right 2010. Uh, what yes 2010 bit bucket joined at lash in 2010 oh that's surprise i thought it's yeah. something I'm older the, this is the official screenshot from when the uh, company made the announcement Uh, with that 10 points to dipanchu we move on back to our general category question and since dipanchu answered the question we go to patrick for the next question patrick this is hmm. your question in 1698 emperor yeah. peter i of russia instituted a tax as part of an effort to bring russian society in line with western european models the tsar empowered police to forcibly and publicly remove the item from people who refused to pay the tax resistance was widespread as it was believed that it was uh, a requirement for man declared it as blasphemous as well the russian orthodox church declared it as blasphemous as well the tax levy depended on uh, what the status was and those who paid the tax were received were required to carry a dash token what is this tax or what is the token that was yeah uh, this is part of their modernization so i said um i uh, swear three of us on this call have one don't we yeah i guess a beard that's right so it was the beard tax which was there in 1698 great crack but if you clearly see yeah. like if the image itself has a small nose a mustache and yeah. a beard in there so that was the beard token that people used to get if they wanted to carry a beard or sport a beard in that era So ten points to batter. We move on to the next question to Nikki. Nikki, this is your question. Created by writers Joe Ruby and Ken Spears in 1969, this character got out of the initial sidekick, which was a bongo playing character called Too Much, in a team of mysterious five. Later on, the character was solidified as a great dash, lacking heroism. Both the character and the series was later released, renamed uh, on the basis of a Frank Sinatra song called "Strangers in the Night." Don Messick did the speech patterns till his retirement in 1996. Which character are we talking about? Originally called a "Too Much" in a character of uh, in a team of mysterious five, a very famous uh-huh. character. I've removed one word from there. Solidified as a great dash, which lacked heroism. I think I will pass. Great. All right, we pass it down to Theodora. I can't even start guessing, so I'll pass as well. All right, the punch. I will pass that as well. All right, Patrick. This is interesting. The, so the answer, the answer is in the hyphen after great. No, so that that's just a okay. Yeah, so I'll give the hint if that's that's the hint if that I'll say. Well, this is my first go around, so I'm not allowed a hint. Yes, not allowed a hint, and it's fairly easy if you think about it. Hmm. A famous character called too much, which obviously the name was changed in a team of mysterious five. Mysterious five, not mysterious. I mean the mysterious five, and then I'm okay. I don't know why I'm just thinking of cartoon series like something like Scooby Doo or something. Um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna um, yeah pass, or we'll wait for the hint for the round of hints. Do you want to give the answer? No, I know. I well, I don't think I have an answer. Are you sure? Or should we move on? <laughs> Name of from the syllables in Frank Sinatra's hit song "Strangers in the Night." The syllables. That's fine. You can pass. Yeah, I'm passing. Yeah, yeah. All right. So pass. we give the hint to Nikki. 
Nikki, your hint is that the dash is solidified as a Great Dane. Oh. Great what? Sorry. Great Dane. D A N E. Dane. Great. Dane. Great Dane. Lacking Dane. heroism. Hold on. Can I Google Dane? I don't know. What <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. We what can. We, we can give her. Right? Can we, okay. It's a type so of Great Dane. Dane is a breed of an animal. A yeah. very famous breed of an animal, and is yes, like I'll give an, an hint. It is a character, cartoon character. Uh, okay, I will pass. Right. Fedora. Dane. Great Dane. Can't come up okay. with anything. Great Dane is that's fine. Dipanchu. So, although Patrick, I can answer it, but you, since you already answered it, so I will pass it on. <laughs> no, answer it. I didn't. I passed. I didn't commit. You gotta answer it, mate. Maybe we can divide the points then. Although, <laughs> because 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 you are you are the one who actually answered it. So it's Scooby Doo. <laughs> right. The answer is Scooby Doo. I thought that was way too early for that cartoon. I thought it was like in the was late seventies. I didn't understand. Was it like a? The so Great, Great Dane, Dane is a huge dog. It's a huge, huge dog. Oh, so it's a yeah. breed of dog. Yes, it's a breed oh. of dog. So the, the main hint would have been lacking heroism because Scooby Doo is always scared of everything. In yeah. Music. But it was interesting even when I was researching this that his original name was too much in a show called Mysteries Five. But yeah, that's. So is it based off of words or syllables in Frank Sinatra? Oh no! So the Sinatra Frank Sinatra, Sinatra song, if you th- uh, if you've heard "Strangers in Night," it has a syllable called "do do be do do be do," something like that. So oh, Fred Silverman okay. heard it and I was like, hmm, "That's an interesting name," and he took that and made it Scooby Doo. Yeah. You know, if you've seen the show, Scooby Doo says Scooby Doo be do. That's how he pronounces his name. But yeah. So uh, I can't believe we we have an entire page with text that oh, <laughs> sorry Scooby Doo. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. So uh, with you that, haven't watched it, Theodora. Uh, what? You haven't watched it, Scooby Doo. No, I watched it, but I'm not a huge fan actually. <laughs> well, I am, and I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's fine, I guess. That's fine. Uh, so uh, we'll 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 move on. We'll move on with the points. I think we have five points that we can because Dipanchu said it right. I wanted to give it to Patrick, but just Patrick didn't commit, so I'll not give it. I to didn't. Him. So we'll just probably divide five points between Dipanchu and Patrick. So two point five, two point five each on the on being Dipanchu being a nice guy gave two point five to Patrick. Let's let's just say that. All right, Sarika. Yes, I am adding that. All Just right, perfect. So we'll move on because both of these guys give got five point two point five each. So I'll ask the next question to Nikki. Nikki, this is your question. Which five colors make up the Olympic rings? Okay, um, green, yellow, green, yellow, black, blue, red. That's right. Green, yellow, black, blue, and red are the correct answers. Ten points to Nikki. I move on to the next question to the to the Theodora. So that this is your question. Guess the name of these two countries from the emojis. Oh wow! <laughs> Kit and trademark. Is it Denmark? You get two chances if you again give me one correct answer. I'll give you part points for it. Oh my! How oh, how you invent these questions? Do you wanna take a guess? Do you wanna pass? I tried with Denmark for the cat one. 
Okay. And do you want to take a guess for the other one? Hmm. Nothing comes to my mind. Born, uh, Dipanchu. So not Denmark. Otherwise, I would have given the point. Dipanchu. <laughs> I will pass. I cannot think of any country's name. <laughs> Shoot. <right. clears throat> hmm. There's no hint in this. I mean, I was like Catalonia. <laughs> I just, oh boy. And then four plus two. Is that six plus something? Oh my goodness! Uh, I the cat's bothering me. Yeah, copyright, cat copyright, cat copyright. Hmm. Um, and I can't tell if this the girl's sort of winking. Yeah, I yeah, I'm gonna pass. I need a hint. All right, uh, Nikki. Yeah. Okay, I think I have it. I think I have it. Qatar <gasps> and Portugal. That is the right answer. Oh. And 4-2. 4 Yeah, that's like... <laughs> Perfect. 10 points to Nikki. Nice. That's nice. a great crack. So, well okay. done. Yeah, great crack. Great crack, Nikki. Let's move on with that to the ecosystem questions. And I give it to Sarika. Uh, sure. So, round two also will be all about Jira. So we'll move on question one to uh, Nikki, right? No, so Theodora. So, Nikki so, gave so, the answer, so, got 10 points, so we asked Theodora. Okay. So it's the question like, uh, guess this Jira feature from this logo. So you have to guess the feature from this logo, what it. Or where you, you, you've seen well, this in a Jira page. Where have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, no, everywhere, not just on the Jira page. What's that? Was it decision? Decision making? Not decision oh. making. Uh, Dipanchu? Is it JQL? Not JQL. Wow. The correct Jira feature name. Jira feature, the name. So there's a name. Patrick. Save filter? Whose turn is it? Is it my turn? Yes, got it. No, no. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, Dipanshu already answered Sajid, right? Uh, sorry? What, what you have told Dipanshu? I couldn't hear you. Did you give search. another answer? Jira search, I was saying. Jira oh, okay, search? Okay. No. Okay. All right, I, I don't know. I, I have to say automation. Not automation. Mm -hmm. Nikki? Um, it's like... Uh, so it's like an empty space for one feature. Is that correct? What you are saying? So you feed it's usually used in... on the empty spaces when you don't have like something set up. So it's like a saved filters have, for example, this logo there. Saved filters feature in Jira has that this logo. Is right. Saved filter yeah. is the right answer. So when you go to filter, so we will write it JQL. So the Panshu was correct, but he used JQL. Yeah. So he said JQL, and then he said advanced search, right? Yes. No, no, I'm not trying to. No, he search. said filters. Jira search. Jira search. Oh, he said Jira search. Oh. Right, Dipanshu? Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. So that's, yeah. So with that, uh, Nikki gets 10 points because that's the correct answer. Uh, filters, you see this logo on your Jira site when you not have any saved filters in the early part when you're just starting to work up with the Jira instance. So the next question is to Theodora. Nikki gets 10 points for the previous question, Sarika. Yes, yes. And here is your question, Deodora. So you have to guess this, guess the Jira feature from this logo. So it's a truck, it has uh, a tickets we can call. Uh, you have to guess the feature. Again, so this shows up somewhere in your Jira instance. 
there does it show up oh i think i'll pass right dipanchu i will also pass this all oh, right patrick no oh, i'm going to say it's a knowledge base link or confluence link no so we're only within, within jira no oh, i know you can connect the two no not knowledge okay <laughs> uh so we go back to nikki and uh, what's the hint that you want to give sarikam i didn't have to have a hint yet sorry I think she I she hasn't gone yet. Oh, you think. haven't. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So Nikki's answer. I'm sorry. Maybe it's still waiting. Yeah, uh, but I'm like thinking a lot. Um, um, I know that this. I actually know that this was introduced, uh, first when they were moving. Um, like this is usually what you see when you're uh, when they're introducing like a new feature. So then you see kind of like a pop up. With with this logo, but then they then they put it somewhere as a placeholder, and I don't remember where. Um, yeah, so. I'm gonna take a guess. Where it can. Be. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, so from the menu. Uh, 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 uh. Just looking at my yeah. notes. What's the hint that we can give for this? I think I pass. I I, I will go to hints because you I will. Want to give a hint now? Yeah. So let's give the hint, and like we'll start again from Theodora. Yes. So you can imagine this truck is going to uh, help you to track your task, and it will help you in visualization also of your task. So the keyword will, being that you can visualize, visualize, track your task. Visualize and track your work. That's the. Is the roadmap? No. Not roadmap. You can't show. Is it dashboards? No. Not dashboards, Patrick. Visualize and track your work. Um. Is this so much power right now, right, Sarika? When when it, you know. It looks <laughs> like uh, in this session, all the participants are in so much pressure. Yeah, I. Everyone I, I, is looking like a very. I mean, I'm gonna uh, uh, pass it on to Nikki because I think Nikki's got the mojo here. Come on, Nikki. Visualize um, and track your work. In Jira. Jira. Hmm. Reports, but it does. Reports have a different logo. I know that, but yeah. What's your answer? Reports. Not reports. So the correct answer is boards. So if you have boards associated, this is where you visualize oh. the work with boards. I thought it had to be more specific than that. That's where the logo shows up. So nobody gave the answers. <laughs> nobody gets the uh, points for this question. So we move again to Theodora for the next question, Sarika. Yeah, sure. Um, yes. This is your uh, question. Now you have to guess the name of this Jira feature from the logo shown below. So this is the logo that we usually see in Jira. So you have to guess the feature name. Is this a sub task? Not a sub task. Dipanchu. Is that reports? Not reports. Patrick. No. child link not child link we thought this would be the most easiest sarika but apparently it's not yes uh nikki uh it's from the jira work management um uh it's either called it's that table view so it's either called list or table view something like that not list or table view Okay. Uh we go back to Theodora and uh, give what's the hint that you want to give Sarika? So this is a feature that Atlassian recently added. I can say. Yeah, it's 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 a fairly I recent think it, it's feature. I think it's 2020, right? If I'm not yeah, wrong, some, it's 2020. Yeah, somewhere around that, somewhere around that fairly recent feature and uh, 
you can like visualize your work using this feature and plan from a long for a long term deployment or something like that let's let's say that and uh, yeah that's that's the hint that we want to give and there are two names that you can call it and we'll take both of them or any of them as the answer so theodora long term planning well try with roadmaps again <laughs> That is the right answer. So that's the logo that you get when you get create your plans or roadmap in Jira. Finally, try try three time roadmap and <laughs> it will finally work. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Perfect. So uh, I think we can uh, move on with the next five points to Theodora for that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for the next question, we can just directly go to. Dipanchu, Dipanchu, this is your question. Oh, so the category is obviously Team Twenty Two, and uh, this is your question, Dipanchu. Yes. So, uh, which partner received the award for the Agile at Scale app category? Uh, and the, the, the description, has... yeah, the description that you see at the bottom is the about section of basically the company. We just took the about section of the company and just. Is it adaptivist? Not adaptivist. No. Patrick. Okay. Um. Anything from the company descriptions? Yeah, dozens. Appfire. That's right. Appfire. I think the dozens word automatically makes it appfire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Great track, Patrick. Ten points to Patrick. We move on. To Nikki for the next question. Hey, see what question, Nikki? Uh, which partner received the award for the app innovator category? The company description here is an Atlassian Gold Marketplace partner, which helps team at more than three thousand five hundred companies be more productive with Jira and points. App innovator. Innovator. Hmm. Um, one second. Uh, no. Well, I know that Old Street Solution won the prize, but I don't think it was Innovator. Uh, it must have been something else. Um, so, if it's not Old Street Solution, then who else was there? Um, We specifically made sure that you were not pulling the question from Modus Create and Old Street Solutions because you guys won awards too. So we didn't. Pick that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I was thinking that that's not going to be the case. So not those two for sure. <laughs> that's something that yeah, we I'm can thinking, say. thinking if there is something like obviously innovative, but I cannot really think of anyone. Um, yeah. I think I need to pass. I don't know at all. 3,500 installed. That doesn't seem like something I would know. No. All right, Theodora. I remember only it's a vendor who is not like uh, super familiar to us. It's not like the first 10 vendor that comes to mind. And I just can't remember the name. I can't even speculate, so I'll pass. Right, Dipancho. I also have no idea about this. Yep. Uh, I pass. Let's go to the, the hint round. I actually do not know what I want to give for a hint. Sarika, what do you think? Uh, I think uh, we can give like uh, the partner name start with E. Yeah, we can say that the partner name starts with E and. Uh, they have a bunch of apps which help in syncing, cloning Jira issues, and spreadsheets for Confluence and external data fields. That's the apps that they have. If I can look at their marketplace system. I'll read the entire description. Uh, they help more than 3,500 companies be more productive with Jira and Confluence. A veteran of the Atlassian ecosystem with more than a decade of experience 
developing app for Jira and Confluence, a gold marketplace partner with uh, their suit helping connect copy and sync publish to Confluence and spreadsheet help companies transform manual ways into modern streamlined workflows based on Jira and Confluence. And we start again from Nikki, right? Sarika? I was started with E. Yes. Yeah. And the company name starts uh, with E. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to pass. I'm not going to. Theodora. Is it difficult? Sorry? Difficult? No. Uh, Dipanshu? Oh, no. Is it E core? Not E core. Patrick. And Pyra? No. No. So we'll drop the question. The answer is Elements. Elements mm. is the name of the company which has these external data share field, clone Jira Sync, and they won the app innovator of the uh, award. Uh, final two questions, and uh, we'll have one question from the ecosystem category, and we'll close it out with a question from the general category. And then we'll jump to the answers because nobody gave the answer to this question. So we'll ask the question of the final category on the ecosystem to Nikki again. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Resolution. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So the question is the award for the ITSM app category. Uh, the company uh, description is long established German software development networking company. The correct answer is the resolution. <laughs> Quite quick on that, Nikki. Uh, 10 points to Nikki. Uh, we didn't even have to ask the question, I guess. Nikki. Next question is going to be a game changer question. Mm. Yeah, so the final question that we are going to ask is to Theodora. That's the last question of the game, after which Sarika will help us with the score. Theodora, this is your question. Guess the name of the movie from the badly written descriptions below. There are two descriptions, very badly written, summarized plots of the movies. Just tell me the names. First, a grown man plays with a toy and sleeps for almost the entire movie. And the second one, selfish young lady survives by not sharing a piece of wood which clearly had room. Mm -hmm. so these are two. Where is my confluence question? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, grown man plays with the toy and sleeps. Is it Inception? And the selfish young lady survives. Oh. I'll try Again, with pass, uh, If you pass or if you give me correct answer, for one of them, I'll give you part points. But... Yes. I think, think a little childish, obviously, but that's the badly written description. So there's this game where you can. You know, that's obviously that's what happens in the movie, but that's not the only thing that happens in the movie. And that's only one movie, like the, the no, two. No, so there are, are two different movies. That's no, two different movies. Different movies. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm I'm passing. Okay, the punch it. I will pass it too. All right, Patrick. All right, second one is Titanic. That's correct. The second one yep. is Titanic. Selfish young lady survives by not sharing a piece of door or the wood. Yeah. On which clearly yep. had a room for Leonardo DiCaprio. But clearly, Titanic. <laughs> What's the first one? A grown man plays with a toy and sleeps for almost the entire movie. Just assuming, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. I'd love to think about it more, but I'm gonna pass. All right, Nikki. The first one, Inception. That's the right answer. So oh, he did play with a toy. You're right. He yeah, played with the totem. He did play with the toy. He sleeps through the entire movie. If you've seen the movie. <laughs> So with that, I think we come to the end of the quiz and we hand it over to Sarika to give us the scores <laughs> of the game. 
so th- this this uh, round will be a game changer uh, round i i will say uh, three participant uh, was the, supposed to be a winner and we we could uh, arrange a tie breaker also wow. but uh, now we have sorted okay so yeah so i will start with uh, the fourth position so on fourth position we have kyodra uh, and she is 4.10 okay 10 points that's fine that's good and uh, <laughs> Next we have Patrick, uh, who scored thirty-seven point five. That's good, thirty-seven point five. Good uh, score, Patrick. Mm-hmm. And uh, Dipanshu and Nikki uh, was supposed to have a tie question, but not needed now. But because uh, Nikki answered the last question, right? Oh so my God! Five scored, points. Yes. So Dipanshu scored forty-two point five. That's good. Forty-two point five, Dibanshu. And Nikki scored fifty. So Nikki is the winner. Wow! So with <laughs> well done, the, Nikki. The well done, question. Nikki. That's great. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> I I was thinking like Dibanshu will be the winner because he scored very nice in the start. But, yeah, uh, he did. Power up in the end. So yeah, best of luck. That's, that's a great. That's a great run, Nikki. So officially, congratulations. You move on. to fight the next battle with uh, fin- finally the old street legacy is broken yes. we have <laughs> we have a winner outside of old street solutions uh nikki representing jexo and the community leader category move on to fight uh with andy we have ajay we have morgan and we now have our fourth winner in nikki congratulations nikki